I want to show how the constant velocity feature of this carburetor works and uh, I have the major components here that I need to explain it. Let's start with the carburetor body which has most of the parts taken out of it and uh, this end of the body is the end that faces the air filter and uh, the air then flows this way through the carburetor and this end is the end that faces the engine so this is the end that sees the lowest pressure uh, between the outside air and the engine the way that the air is made to flow through the carburetor is because the engine actually is acting like an air pump and it's actually pumping air by creating a vacuum on this end so that the higher pressure air that's in the air box and the tube that comes into the carb is sucked through the carburetor in this direction. The way in which the air moves through here is controlled by a shaft connected to the throttle and this little butterfly throttle plate that fits inside here. When the throttle's closed, the plate is essentially closed so there's a huge restriction that prevents the engine vacuum from creating very much suction through the carburetor and as you open up the throttle the butterfly plate rotates there's less restriction more engine vacuum available to pull air out of the air box through the carburetor and when the throttles all the way open the butterfly is horizontal so there's almost no obstruction and you're getting maximum engine vacuum pulling the maximum volume of air out of the carburetor uh, out of the uh, air box now the second major piece that goes in this is the slide which is this piece of metal and the slide fits in the center of the carburetor like this the slide has a cutout on the bottom and it also has a hole in the middle for the jet needle and these two other holes here that go all the way through the body of the slide and connect to this annulus right here around the uh, sleeve so when this is put into the carburetor um, it goes in like this and you can see that even when the slides all the way down there's a small opening here let me rotate that correctly there's a small cutout opening here so when the engines running at low speed you've got air being pulled by the vacuum created by the engine and that air is flowing through a pipe just about this big around and that then has to go through a narrow opening what the only thing it can do is speed up so it moves faster so the same amount of air that was coming in can flow through the small passage the way that happens is you get faster moving air one of the properties of any fluid or, or gas like air is when it moves faster the pressure where it's going faster is lower than the pressure out here where it's going slower so this is a low pressure area what that means is those two holes actually create a low pressure area in the annulus compared to the pressure in the pipe bringing the air out of the air box to the beginning of the carburetor so that's where this diaphragm comes in and the diaphragm has a couple of notches in it that fit into the body of the slide and into the casting at the top and it's secured by this ring so when that ring is screwed down it creates an airtight seal between the diaphragm and the slide and when the cover is bolted down it creates an airtight seal between the outside of the diaphragm and the body of the carburetor now that means everything on top of the diaphragm is seeing that low pressure error that's created in the venturi this narrow neck area of the carburetor so we get a low pressure on the top of the diaphragm if we could get a high pressure on the bottom of the diaphragm we could push the slide up 
because that high pressure will force the slide to go up. And the way that works is that right here on the entrance to the carburetor is this big passage. And that comes in right here so that the bottom of the diaphragm is now seeing higher pressure air coming from the air box. So the bottom of the diaphragm has higher pressure air than the top of the diaphragm. And when that happens, then the slide is going to be pulled up. But look what happens when the slide's pulled up. What's happening is this opening is getting bigger. So the air velocity is slowing down, which means the pressure in here is going up. And what can occur is you will balance the pressure on the bottom of the diaphragm with the pressure on the top. And when they balance, the slide will hold a position. Now, when the butterfly that I talked about starts to open up more, you create more suction, lower pressure here. Therefore, air starts moving even faster through here. That drops the pressure here, and it causes the slide to want to come up until it reaches a balance point. So if you open the throttle plate a uh, throttle a little bit more, the butterfly plate opens more, there's more vacuum from the engine, more flow, and the slide keeps coming up each time stopping when it reaches a balance point between the higher pressure of the bottom of the diaphragm and the lower pressure in the top of the diaphragm. When you close the throttle, it just goes in reverse and it starts to allow the slide to come down. So that's the idea of the constant velocity feature of the carburetor. The slide is not connected to the throttle cable. Only the butterfly that sits in here is connected. But when that opens, you change air pressures inside here and you cause a change in position of the slide until it can get equalized pressures on both sides of the diaphragm.